this next mod I'm going to be installing LEDs in the footwells. Apparently in 2004 they quit putting these lights down there, but the mounts are still there for the sockets. So in 2003 they stopped, was the last year they did this. You can see up there, this is the driver's side, there's where you'd put the socket in. Right, right in here. And then ground will be right here. So, what you have to do is open up this box, find the... That's what you're going to tap into for your dome light. And so I followed that wiring harness up here to the interior fuse panel. It's not this one that's sticking up, it's this wire here, or that group of wires, rather, that you're going to have to open. And I'm going to be slicing mine up in here, and then you can kind of see, well maybe you can't, but right in there is the plate where that light will be going. I'll be installing two LEDs in each front passenger footwell, and then I'll actually be running wire to the back seat as well, which never came on the factory. So let me go show you the passenger side socket. Okay. So, right up underneath here, let's see. So, I don't know if you can see that right where my finger is. That's where we're going to install the second one. But I'm actually putting two on each side. So I'll be putting one back in there. And I'll also be finding a new ground for my 12 volt socket uh, splitters. Okay, so here is my little drawing of the diagram that I'm going to be using to wire all of these LEDs up. So my shadow is kind of in the way, but we're going to be typing up here. This is the driver side front. Uh, the red box is going to be LED locations. I'm going to be putting two on each side up front, then one on each side in the rear. And I'm going to try to find a ground near every spot so I can just ground it locally. So I'll show you what wire to tap into, but this is basically all the stuff that you're going to need. Uh, this is 14 gauge wire. I just got it on Amazon, like seven bucks. Uh, these are 194 LEDs. I bought the sockets separately, a 10 pack. I'm not going to use all 10, but I just stripped the wires, added some heat shrink um, to the end so it doesn't rip it out. And I've tested for polarity and made sure all these LEDs work, put them in. Um, you're also going to want some flux. This makes soldering way easier. Trust me, if you used it before, you know what I mean. Uh, these I got from Harbor Freight. Uh, heat shrink, tubing assortment, and of course, solderless terminal uh, assortment kit. You may not need those if you're soldering, but I just like to have it handy. So, that's everything you're going to need. Okay, so right in here behind this fuse panel, you can just take this, pop this cover off, and it's a little hard to see, but that red wire is the wire that I spliced in for the lights, and up there, you can see right here, I've got a pin, a, f a female connector pin, that I tapped in there so that when I get my Boost Auto Parts tow mirrors, I can just plug the dome light wire feature straight into that without any further soldering. So if you don't have tow mirrors and you want the dome light feature with them, I suggest while you do the LED mod, you tap in a little pin for that. Now, in the Boost Auto Parts mirrors, um, video, they show you tapping into a white wire with a gray stripe, but I did that and, and these lights didn't work, so I noticed that it was actually 
the dark gray wire with black stripe. That is the real wire that you want to tap this into. Um, that's how I got this to work. So, that's the connector in there. Um, yeah. Quick update on my footwell LEDs. Uh, I've got the driver side all finished. Let me show you up in here. That's what it looks like. It is daytime, but the truck is in the garage, so it's a little bit dark. It looks pretty nice. I got two, one in each corner for that footwell. And then in the back seat, it's kind of hard to see, but I got one back there as well. And it all runs through this red cable here. I ran it under the dash, and now this is what I'm going to use to splice in the passenger side. So, I also got new WeatherTech floor mats, which are much more protective than the old factory Chevrolet formats. Much more coverage and the WeatherTechs are still color matched, so they look great. Okay, I just finished wiring up this passenger front footwell. You can see I've got one LED over there by the vent, then another up there. And so, before I had this box here, um, splitter box, grounded right here. But instead, I combined the ground wire for these lights, and I used this bolt here. But you can see that blue uh, shrink wrap. I did it from the behind, so you don't look at your... Well, you can't really see it if you're standing up all the way here, unless you bend down. But what I did is I took off this kick panel. There's two little screws, one back here and one right here. The whole thing will pop down. And I just ran the wire behind that. This is the positive wire from the driver's side. And I did a lot of T-splicing. You can kind of see right there where I just keep one continuous wire, but I splice a section of it out to tap in um, another line. So, what I'm going to do is take this wire, and I, what I did for the driver's side is I pushed it under here, all the way along, and I don't know if you can see, um, it's kind of dark in there, I'll show you again later, but I'll tuck that all the way along underneath the seat, so that I can get my light back here. Okay. So I started tucking this wire in, red wire, and back right there, that hole, you can see I've taken this screw out, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this red wire up and around there, past the screw, and then I'm going to put the screw back in so that it will hold the wire there. Okay, instead I just decided to wrap the wire around that black brace because um, I couldn't push it up around that screw for some reason, unlike the driver's side where I did. So that's going to have to do for now.
this here is my ground wire. I have this running underneath the seat. But where I'm gonna put it is right back here on the passenger seat mount. I'm gonna put it right under there. That's what I did to the driver's side. And then I'll just run it back underneath to the LED. All right, would you look at that? Got it all finished.